Now let's create the offer record based off of setting the status of the pursue to make offer. So the first thing we want to do is log in the Globy flow, go to your flows, go to your workspace, refresh the Podio, make sure we have all the latest, click on the pursue app, add new, new flow. We want to do an update flow. Trigger this by an, an item update, which is changing the status field. And now we have the trigger, the update in the app, the pursue app. And now we want to set the filters because we only want to change it on a field change of the status. And also that the status is equal to make offer. Next we have to make a reference because we're going to need some information from the properties app record that this lead is uh, that this offer is based off of. So to do this we have to actually create an action that says get reference item. So let's find the get reference item action get reference item Minimize this, select the app we want to get the reference item from, which is the leads app. So the direction, we want to just go forwards because we just want to get that item. And then lead relationship, we can stop here. Again, this allows us to access the fields from the leads app that, or the leads record that this offer and record is based off of or linked to. Hopefully that makes sense, but if you have any questions, just send me an email and I'll try to clear it up for you. So now that we have the reference, we want to create the new offer item. So let's create item. Minimize this. Select the app where we want to create the item, which is offers. And then we just start adding fields. It automatically puts offer data in there because it's required. Everything else is not required. I didn't know that. It's a good lesson for me too. So the offer date value is selected equal to the current date. You can add days in the future if you like. Let's add some more fields. Add a pursue relationship set to the current item. Then we need the offer amount, value equals max offer, and the next field should be the status. This is just going to be defaulted to outstanding. And after this, we'll add the recipient name. Move down here, find the name of the, the contact, contact name, recipient address, lead address. I'll just go through these real quick. City, city. Now it is possible that your recipient is a out-of-state owner, absentee owner whose address is different than the, the property address. You'll probably have that information in your lead app, which so you can select it the same way. Uh, right now, I'm assuming the the owner lives at home, is an occupant, and we're sending it right to the, the property that we're interested in. So we'll take this date. And finally, the zip field. Where'd you go? There you are. The last thing we want to do is say send offer by not set, not sent. Because what we're going to do after this is create a, a Zapier 
process that picks up when you set this to mail to the lob. So at this point we want not set because we don't want it sending off just yet. We want to make that a more manual task because you don't want it sending off automatically just in case something happens. Now again, I'd like to create a task. Assign a task. Assign it to myself. Summary. Offer is ready to send. Select the current date, send it next day. Send offer to there, that address. So now I'm satisfied with this, so let's review what's going on here. So when you update a pursue record, by changing the status field to make offer you are then you get the reference for the the lead that the offer or the offer will be based on and then you create the offer record and you'll pre-populate these fields with information and then finally you'll create a task to give yourself notification that you need to send out the offer the next day. That's all good. Say create offer record and save. In the next video I will show you how to auto create the the offer letter and that will be based off of an offer being created. So stay tuned for that video. If you have any questions about this one, please email me at scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.